Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie, and today we're back with some more control as part of our Sunday Fun Day playlist. And last time we came here to, uh, well, Underhill's lab, and it's full of mold. So let's get into it. Let's, um, oh, that's just a radio. So we need to go back to Underhill now because we collected a load of mold samples for her, I believe. Whoa. Um, and I think the aim is to go down that hole there, but we can't go down that hole at the moment. Ooh. Okay. Whoop. I think it was through here. Oh, good God. What a horrible place. Ooh. Moldy. Ugh. I like mold. Stinky. Okay. You look like a woman with mold for me. That sounded really weird. Why is there a fork in that mold? Are you eating the mold? Don't eat the mold. I found L5, but I kind of wanted to eat them. The mold has that effect on some people. Likely due to the fact it's not actually mold or even of this dimension. Oh. I suspect it is the result of two incompatible molecular structures, one dominant, coming into contact. I call it mold or fungus because it's closer in appearance and behavior than anything else we know, except perhaps bacteria. Oh. She reminds me of my old biology teacher. Did you happen to meet any more members of my ranger detail? I didn't see any rangers. Just walking mold people. Unless... Yes. If you found mold people, you found my rangers. Oh dear. I refer to the creatures as hosts. They, like other unwary agents, succumbed to the appetite. But that's nothing for you to worry about. The pill I'm about to make with these samples will make the lower level perfectly safe to traverse. It has the added benefit of immunizing you against the pit's toxic spores. I feel like I should ask to see your credentials. There. That didn't take too long now, did it? Ingest this pill, then go and find the source of the mold. Only there can we begin to understand how to stop it. Take a mystery pill because a rude lady in a hazmat suit tells you to. Yeah. Great idea, Jesse. Hmm. But we're doing it. Oh, honestly, did you want me to wrap it in cheese? Don't be rude. Oh, the taste, the smell. It stinks in here now. Good. That means the pill is working. The worse it smells, the safer you'll be. Oh. Now go. Find the source. All right. Um. Yeah. Uh, well, actually, do you know what? While we're here, let's ask her, Jesse as director. Let's make her aware. With Darling gone, I'm putting Emily Pope in charge of the research sector. Are you okay with that? Perfectly. Oh. You have pulled Excalibur from the stone and now decree as you see fit, O oh Queen. Oh, God. What a true meritocracy we live in. Glad to hear it. Hmm. Do you know what? We're going to leave it to a business. See you later. We're going to go and jump down Dr. a, a pit of mold. If you please. Director Faden, if you please. Rude woman. Okay, right, well. Let's wander back up in here. So we need to find... Oh! Okay, how... What? Oh! There wasn't a hole here before, was there? Was there? I don't know, I can't remember. Oh, pink flamingo supplement. Here we go, we've already met the fl pink flamingo. Pink flamingo AI46-KE. Background. Agent noticed a transient commonly found outside the entrance of the Bureau headquarters would carry the item and loudly claim to be responsible for the lack of inclement weather. The frequency of these claims attracted the personal interest of Dr. Darling. In interviews disguised as casual conversations, the transient reported that the item gives me clouds when it's hot and sun when it's not. An event of note occurred during a heavy downpour when the vagrant was witnessed performing a possible ritual with the item C-File PAI-1372 for a detailed observation. Dr. Darling reported a wait of redacted seconds before the rain stopped. The vagrant was seized the next day. After redacted, he was found to possess no redacted and was released. The item remains in Bureau custody under suspicion of altered status, though this still is not being proven. Though this still has not been proven. All known variations of identification formulas have failed to elicit a response from the item. Okay. Yeah, the flamingo. I remember the flamingo. 
Uh, anything else here? No. Okay, so we need to go back up. Uh, what? Can we can we not go back up? Oh, duh. Okay. Um, did we? Oh. Okay, that's a little weird, but whatever. Oh, right, back out here. Now, as I was coming out, I did happen to spy with my very little eye a couple of spots we hadn't been. So I want to check them out, just to see, you know, if there's anything in there. Because I'm curious like that. Okay. So I think... Oh, here we go. Aha, you see? Balloon procedures. Oh, hello. Get well balloon AI 5H-KE containment procedure. Item must be kept away from animals. The cell must be regularly cleaned of the black substance the item produces. All cleaning tools must be redacted along with the black substance itself. Description slash altered effect. Item is a novelty balloon made of silver mylar. On its face is a colourful message to get well surrounded by cartoon hearts. The ribbon is attached to the balloon. Item has not stopped floating after a considerable amount of time in the bureau, which suggests it does not hover through the use of helium. The item produces a dark coloured sticky substance which drips down its ribbon. Well, alright. A balloon, eh? That can we go around this way? Oh, look at that! We can, hey! I this love must it! be the pit Underhill was talking about. Yes, indeed. Okay, well, yeah, it's down there, isn't it? It's kind of weird looking. In fact, we should be able to, um... Possibly... Have a little mooch around down here. I don't think there's anything of any value, really, to us. But... Do you know... Did we go in there? Oh, alright, bloody hell! I don't think we've been in here. Okay, jeez Louise. Oh, loud. Oh yes, we have been in here. Okay, fair enough. Alright, let's rock and roll. Let's go down the pit. Down into the pit of doom. And death. Okay. Can we kind of... Whoa! Float. We're floating, keeping an eye out around us for anything of any interest. <gasps> oh no. Well. That works, doesn't it? I like that. What's this? Oh. Ramsey, Ranger Captain, Node 7.25. Underhill sent us down this weird ass threshold looking for whatever. Is that it? Oh. I thought there'd be a little bit more to that, but never mind. Um, ah, what's this? Balloon supplement again? We already read this. Oh no, that was balloon procedure, sorry. Get well balloon AI58-KE. Background. The item was used in the children's ward of a local hospital in Redacted. Witnesses do not recall where the balloon came from. Therapy dogs, part of a program called Redacted, meant to comfort the sick children, were noticeably attracted to the item. They reportedly jumped at the item, licking it when they could. The children claimed the dogs began walking through the halls of the hospital at night, howling in a low pitch. One child described the sound as singing. A few days later, the dogs were all discovered dead, a dark substance leaking from their redacted. Hospital staff called local authorities, who called the CDC. Bureau agents intercepted this call and arrived at the scene within redacted hours. The item was taken for evaluation, along with the remains of the dogs. See file PAI-2411.B for details. Ah, I remember us reading about that. Searching through the remains of a dog or something. I remember it when we were in, like, the garbage thing. Okay, well... Oof. Okay, why? Is there anything up here? No. Okay. Let's go. 
God, it's dark in here. Oof. God. The further I go, the worse it smells. Ugh, mold people. Stinky. Checking we go down here. Oh, God! That was weird. Down here or have a peep this way? Or do all, lo all roads lead to the same spot? Yes, they do by the looks of it. Ugh. You'll be vomiting at me, mate. I'll do that to you. <laughs> Throw you about like an old rag doll. Oh god, no. Have a friend. You'll you'll enjoy it. Oh, that was easy. Huh. Okay. I think all roads do lead to the same yeah, they do. They all lead to this lead to the same spot, excuse me. Do we can oh Okay. Launch efficiency. Is this a way? No. Uh, is there an up somewhere? Oof. So we came from out here, didn't we? Um. Oh. Totally missed that. There we are. Anyone else? Oh, jeez, Louise. All right. There you are, mate. Have a bit of that. There we go. I think the only real sort of bonus down here thus far has been that there's been no hiss interaction. Hmm. Okay. Well. Let's, um... Ramsey, Ranger Captain, note 7.28. Uh, wait, uh, 6... 7... Uh, <laughs> still in the... Fresh mold. Fresh mold. Oh, he's straight up eating the vegetables now, because, well, why not? Mom said, eat your vegetables. Eat too many and your skin will turn green. Green like Ollie's. <laughs> hey, Ollie. Oh, God. What'd you find now? I fear that the ranger may have kind of started to lose his marbles a little bit down here, which is, yeah, all right. Is ours now. There's something up there. There is something up here. Ah, look at that. Cool. See, it always pays to have a little look around because you never know what you might find hidden in the walls. All right. So, okay. Nothing over. Here. This is kind of concerning. Lots of. Mannequins in bizarre positions, but fine. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't like mannequins. They're weird things. It's weird. Okay. Should we? Should we? Okay. Whoop. Slowly. Slowly. Okay. Whoa. Is that the source? That. It's kind of pretty. Is it? Holy! Okay, it's not that pretty. Okay, it's not that pretty. I mean, that kind of worked, didn't it? That kind of worked. That still kind of worked. Okay. Oh god, oh god. We've run out of space to run. Let's just get down here. God bless it. Oh, 
Okay, lots of explodey balls. Oh, she's getting us a little bit. She? I say she. Okay, this thing is not going to be happy with us. Okay, all right. Oh, bloody hell. Okay, yeah, that kind of hurt a little bit more than it should have done. But, do you know what? That, that's fine. Mold 1. That implies that there's a Mold 2 or a Mold 7. Which, yeah. Alright. Oh god, the, 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 the gas. Ugh. Whoa! Okay, okay, alright, alright. Yeah, it's not that pretty, Jesse. Killed it. I need to stop being surprised by all the weird shit in this place. Yeah! Jiminy, Christmas, this thing was... Whoa! Oh, can we have some of this health? No? Oh, we've already picked up loads of it. <laughs> Look at this thing, man. Ugh, stinky. Stinky butt. Okay. So, oh, we go this way, do we? My God. Okay, is there anything actually... Anything else actually in here for us to... That was relatively straightforward, to be honest. This, this, this grenade launcher thing is so awesome. It really is. Just makes mincemeat of pretty much anything. It's really cool. Alright. Come on, Jesse. Let's go. Uh, we'll switch back to normal and claim the control point. Okay. Oh. Ah, something else. What's this? Oh, so good. Oh God. <laughs> that sounds awful, does it not? Well, all right. Intrusive pattern. Not too bloody marvelous. Well. All right. So this way. Whoop. Ugh. Well, hopefully that will have kind of solved the problem slightly. Madam! I've done your dirty work for you. You've returned, I see. No, I'm a mirage. And you're not sprouting mould from your eyes. I take it that means my pill worked. Did. Now tell me everything. Did you find the source? You did, didn't you? I found a big, angry plant. Like, gigantic. I killed it. You killed it? You found the source and you killed it? I could have learned so much from a live specimen. Her concern is touching. Mm. Really. It's too much. Here, I brought you a sample. A piece of the innermost mold. You're not such a lost cause after all. Strange. So different, even superficially. Another stage of growth, perhaps. Please, no more stages. Yeah. You'll be pleased to know that cutting down the creature at the source has already resulted in a notable cessation of the mold's rapid growth. You've bought me time for further study. So what now? I'm glad you asked. While you were busy in the pit, a number of mold hosts were sighted beyond the threshold. They managed to sneak out without the rangers noticing. There's a reason I didn't send Steve and Andy to find the mold source with the others. These vagrant hosts must be eradicated as soon as possible. The mold can still be spread by their overgrown bodies. Any idea where they went? The hosts I've observed are not a sprightly bunch. Here are the reports I've received. They'll help you find them. I'll go take care of them. Good. And do be quick about it. 
There's a nice way to say that. Yes, there is a nice way to say that. Um, do you know what? I'll see you later, Rhea. Hmm. Doctor Underhill, if you please. No, still calling you Rhea. Guard duty down here. This place is fucking weird. All right. This is nothing. So now we have to go and remove some more weird. mold. Oh What's God. All right. So, Ritual Division Central Research. Well, we're near Central Research, so we might as well bob up there. Can we go up to Central Research this way? I think we can, can't we? Can we? Right, so there's supposed to be one of these mold hosts in here. So, hmm, parakinesology? I don't know how you say it. So, is it this way? No, that's central research. All right, let's have. Oh yeah, there you go. I should have just turned around. What a fool! What a fool! All right. So, we're looking for a moldy person here. Of all the things. Yes, I realise. Of all the things. Is that mould? I'd suggest that's mould. But then... Oh yeah, this is definitely mould, I think. Oh yeah. I think... Yeah. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Where are you, moldy man? Oh, there you are. Well, God bless it. But you're in there. How do I get in there? Um, that was exceptionally loud, and I don't think there was any need for it. Oh, there you are, are you? Oh! I'm sure this door wasn't open before, was it? Ah, maybe. Oh, hey, there's that that thingy. I've seen that on, um, I think it was Ghostbusters, the original film, Ghostbusters. It started out like that. That's what they were doing. The, um, I don't know what you call it. Some kind of test, anyway. Um, well, there's nothing else here, so I guess we just have to... Oh, okay. Bloody hiss. Jeez Louise, scared the life out of me. There they are. That, that, that helped. Damn. We absolutely trashed the joint. Oh, hello. <sighs> okay, yeah. Um Never mind, that's 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 fine. We're all alright. Okay, so mold, we're looking for mold, 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 mold. Where would we find the mold? Oh yeah, here we go. There's mold. Stinky mold. Stinky, stinky, pinky mold. Oh, hello. There it is. Oh, it hurt, bro. Alright, so there's one more somewhere. So maybe... Maybe... Parakinesology? That's how you say it? Where are you, dude? I've seen your stinky mould, so I know you're here somewhere. Stinky butt. Oh! Is that something? Oh, it is something, look. Emergency call supplement. Hello. NA. AWE-18. Details. Transcript of a call to the Californian State Emergency Services. 
Dispatcher, 911, what's your emergency? Voice, hello? Hello, I'm here, can you hear me? Dispatcher, I can hear you, ma'am. Where are you? Voice, I'm, um, inside the wires. I'm lost. Dispatcher, ma'am, have you been drinking tonight? Voice, I feel like I'm stretching through the wire towards you. Don't hang up, I might go if you hang up. Dispatcher, go where, ma'am? Voice, go, gone, away. Dispatcher, okay, and can you describe your surroundings? Oh, no noise. Dispatcher, ma'am? Hello, ma'am? Note, dispatcher attempted to call the number back, but there was no longer in service. <gasps> so did somebody get stuck in a, in a phone? Can you get stuck in a phone in this, in this universe? Probably. Anything's possible. This is like, I'm, I'm thinking this is maybe kind of like a take on SCP style stuff. Okay. That worked, didn't it? Okay. Yeah, like the SCPs, that sort of thing. I really fancy playing an SCP game, but a lot of them I've seen, well, most of them, I've seen. Um, unfortunately, they're only for multiplayer, which is like, mm, that's a bit pants, isn't it? But, well, never mind, I suppose. Right, let's have a look. Um, where do we need to go, actually, next? Let's have a look. The Ritual Division. Well, oh, why am I, what am I doing? There you go. Yeah. All right. Um, do you know what, actually? Should we... No, it is this way. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Okay, so what have we got here? Synchronicity Lab. Anything going on in here? Oh yeah, there's mould here. There's mould here! Where are you, you wretch? What is this? Oh! A synchronous suit. Oh my god! I get like a new outfit, that's cool. I don't know why I'm so excited about that. It's an outfit. It's not, you know, not the greatest thing I've ever been given. Um, oh, I can hear it. I can hear it. Oh, there you are, are you? Oh, like it hurt, bro. What's this? So, okay. Okay, what? Why is the whole building shaking? What the hell was that? Oh my god, the whole room is shaking because of these things. Whoa! That's freaky, man. Should we keep doing it or what? I, th I think I'd better just walk away. That's weird, man. I don't like that. Ooh, how bizarre. Freaky. What a strange place. Okay, so we've been in here. How odd. Ooh, no, absolutely not. Back to the ritual division. Oh, God, really? Can you not? Can you just not? Do we have to today? Oh, like it hurt a bit. Look and probability. Maybe, maybe. Central research, yeah, we can't get in there. All right. Okay. Well, there you go. There's the mold in the bathroom. One more, one more to find. Hmm, where would they be? Do you suppose? Must be in here somewhere. I do wonder what the um, what the outfit was. We'll check that out in a minute. Uh, oh, ritual office. There you go. Hiss nodes. Oh. Okay. Well, 
this is not going to be good, is it? Hey, are, mate. So now there's only central research to go. Marvellous. Is there anything else in here for us? Can we just kind of... What? There we are. <laughs> the fast way down. I see mold. Let me in. It's one way to get in, isn't it? A hidden location, eh? Well, not so bloody hidden anymore, is it? Aha! It's kind of smashed open, if it's if we're being honest. All right. Any more mould here? This place is huge. Central research, massive. I do quite like it, though. I think it's a very impressive... Um, impressive section of the building. Right, so we've been in there. That's fine. Hmm. Where else might we find a little mould? A little moulder. Moulder. Mm. Imagine what this place was like when people were, like, working here. Would it be very, sort of, loud and chaotic? Or do you suppose it'd be fairly, sort of, hushed, quiet, you know? Or like a mausoleum. Oh, toilet to the face. What a way to go, man. Okay. I like this, though. The greenery on the wall. That's nice. That's just a bathroom. I mean, Otty's not going to be very happy when he comes back and there's all this mould. But at least we're doing something about it, I suppose. For him. In a way. Parapsychology we've been in. Um, anything through here. They almost look like doors, don't they? That's weird. Okay. Oh, and we widen to reveal more hiss nonsense. Dr. Darling's office. Uh, dimensional research, maybe? We'll try dimensional research first. Oh, no, we won't. Oh, God. what I do? That was weird. All right. Let's pop in Mr. Darling's office here. Another one of these things. I'm not going to set it off. Ooh. Darling, budget request. Federal Bureau of Control. Dear Dr. Darling, I suspect my colleague Dr. Harrington has already contacted you asking for an increase in her department's budget. I'm not surprised. Parapsychology has always been the squeaky wheel. All fuss but no results. Parakinesi... Parak... Parakinesiology, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, has always been the stronger department. More breakthroughs, more tangible data, more usable research. I'm sure a man of your esteem can plainly see which department is more deserving of the budget increase. Just think what those additional resources could do for an already formidable research team. Anyway, I know you're a fan of single malt, so I left a bottle of well-aged brown on your desk. Yours in admiration, Dr. Abram Lewis. Dr. Lewis, I think you need to um, get a bit of tissue for your nose, mate, because you've got a little bit of the brown stuff on it. Good lord. What are they for? They always need to wear them. Resonance theory. Okay. Utilization of paranatural elements. Resonance. Confidential. Summary. Resonance. It's there, but we can't see it. It vibrates around us, through us, from us. But what if the vibration is conscious? What could a force like that do? Redacted opened the door to a redacted I've called redacted. The redacted emits a force that is far beyond the forces we've previously dealt with. It has shown me so much that I have to wonder, is resonance the key element in all altered phenomena? AWEs, altered items, objects of power, do they share a common redacted that we've yet to discover? We can harmonize control points. What else would the correct frequency allow us to achieve? 
What if resonance has been the answer this, this whole time? Refer to file redacted for full report. I think that's... He's probably talking about Polaris there, isn't he? Oh my god, there's more here. Jeez Louise, the research, man. The astral plane. Ah. Examination of paranatural topics. The astral plane and objects of power. Summary. The Bureau has spent years studying why objects of power transport users into the astral plane when touched. My predecessor, Dr. Ash, theorised that a potential receptacle determined by Jungian archetypes and the collective subconscious would be inhabited by paranatural energies when an AWE occurred in its vicinity, creating an altered item. Over time, a link was created by the redacted and the astral plane to that item, making it an object of power. So many additional theories have been raised since Dr. Ash's time. Objects of power were placed on Earth as tests by some astral entity. Our dimension was once part of the astral plane and the objects were left behind as its borders receded. The astral plane was an early threshold into the oldest house. The astral plane was an early threshold into the oldest house, but the connection was severed and now the two are linked solely through the objects of power. I will attempt to disprove some of these in order to thin the herd. Hopefully the truth will emerge. Refer to file 6-32-6498 for full report. Hmm. Oh my god, there's more. Jeez Louise. Astral pain... Astral plane counter essay. Alternative perspective. Objects of power and their astral connections. Summary. Dr. Darling is insistent that certain objects of power share a direct connection to the redacted, an entity or group of entities that we have little information on, or little that I am allowed to access. In his reports, he states that there is a clear link between these objects of power, the redacted, the astral plane, and the oldest house itself. His work supposes these links are innate, a fact ingrained into the very redacted of objects such as the hotline or the service weapon. But what if these particular objects were never linked to the redacted but had connection forced upon them? Isn't it strange that no other objects of power required such direct contact with the redacted? Isn't it strange that using the service weapon or the hotline will result in grievous harm or even death if the user is not the director or at least worthy of the role? Why do we assume this involvement by the redacted is a natural fact and not something more redacted? Refer to file 6-23-9382 for full report. Hmm. Very curious, you know. Listening to your conversations Dr. Darling. While you're wearing them. You do that regardless whether or not oh, you're God. wearing an HRA. Well, I think we can safely assume that the mold wasn't in there. Alright, what's um What else have we got here? Okay. So it must be down here somewhere. Maybe it is through in there? Paracycle. Oh jeez Louise, that scared the life out of me. Alright. <sighs> okay, right. Maybe it is in here somewhere? No, this is parapsychology. We've already been in here. So there's one more mold host somewhere in this bloody building. Oh my goodness. The place is massive though. Can we... Is there anything down here? Maybe in here? Nope. I think we, we may have found what we're looking for. Yeah, there you go. I think that's the last one. So do I, Jesse. I so do I. Yes, we will. We'll wander on over to her now. Um I think we could just drop on down, couldn't we, actually? Wee Oh There we go. Superhero landing. Love it. Uh Doctor Underhill, Madame Malo. My family had black mold once. Bleach did the trick. Okay. Has Underhill tried bleach? I found the hosts. They won't be spreading any more mold. Well done. I'll send burn teams to sanitize the locations. I'm beginning to wonder if these hosts are originating outside the threshold in independent patches of mold growth. You don't sound very optimistic. Optimism is for farmers, as my mother always said. 
I suppose you could now return to that hiss business you all seem so concerned about. This woman has some incredible tunnel vision. Yep. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. What about your future? I assume you'll be staying with us until the mold is eradicated. Indeed. Until I find a permanent resolution to this pesky fungus business, I'll be here. Perhaps even beyond that, seeing as you are quite understaffed at the moment. Though I hardly have a say in my own comings or goings. Your oldest house won't open the exits until those hiss monstrosities are cleared out. Glad to have you along for the ride. Yeah. All right. Do you know what? I'll see you later, Rhea. Dr. Underhill, if you please. Nope. Sir, Never gonna say it. Sir? Never gonna say it. And here we are. All right. Speak to Emily. Emily! My dear. I found Underhill. I've looked through the docs we found in Dimensional Research. That slide projector is extremely powerful. Mm -hmm. You were right to shut it down. Oh. Um. Well, all right. Well, I've got a bureau to run. See you soon. Yes, ma'am, Director Faden. Oh, God. Who moved Please, my Emily. Not even as a joke. Well, do you know what, folks? I think that we will leave it there for today. Next time, I think there's very little that we've got left to wrap up. Let's have a look here. Um, we can do these hiss nodes things. We've still got to do the jukebox one, and we've still got to complete one of the arcade arcade game modes of Shoom. But then that will be it for Control. It will be done. And we will need something else for Sunday Fun Day. So in the meantime, if any of you think of anything at all that you'd like to see me play on Sundays, that you'd like me to give a go, give a look at, stick it in the comments below. But until next time, be safe, be good, and look after yourselves. <laughs>